All right. Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the April edition of the Rotary eCub of Southeast USA and Caribbean Zoom meeting. Um, this is the wonderful time when we get a visit from our district governor and um, make it short and sweet. I am going to go ahead and just immediately pass the floor on to uh, PDG Debbie Mayman to introduce our district governor. Go ahead. Thanks, Alicia. Well, I have to say personal note, Jocelyn and her husband, Mike, were my classmates in 2016, 2017. And the we did all our trainings together for three years. So we all got to know each other quite well. Plus we hung out at Pets a lot together too. So it's a great honor for me to introduce Jocelyn in her official capacity. And without further ado, I will read her bio. Jocelyn Steele Chapman was born in Greenville, South Carolina and lived in a wide number of communities in the US and the Caribbean. She graduated from Boca Siga High School in 1976, five years after me, earned her AA from Stevens College in 77 and her BA in Marketing Communications Public Relations from the University of West Florida in 1979. Jocelyn's late father Bill was a Rotarian in Winter Park, Florida, so she's a second generation Rotarian. She started her Rotary career at Rotary Club of Dunedin North in 2004. Career changes prompted her move to the Rotary Club of Safety Harbor in 2005, where she served as club director and was awarded Rotarian of the Year in 2006. Further career changes led Jocelyn to the Rotary Club of Clearwater in 2008. She served as club director, chair of the annual Kingfish Tournament, Kingfish. Club, sec <laughs> club secretary, president 2013-14, chair of the Rotary Foundation Committee, when the Rotary Club of Clearwater earned 100% Paul Harris Fellowship Club Award. And in June 2016, she received the Herbert G. Brown Service to Rotary Award. Upon retirement from banking and a move to Tarpon Springs in 2016, Jocelyn joined the Rotary Club of Tarpon Springs, oh, serving, wow. <laughs> serving as executive secretary in 2018, and remains active with club activities. Jocelyn has served our district as vice chair of District 6950 Rotary Foundation Committee, assistant governor of area three, district RLI director and RLI discussion leader, district trainer for 2019 to 2021, and currently as district governor for 2021, 2022. Jocelyn is a Paul Harris fellow, level two major donor, Paul Harris Society member and benefactor to the Rotary Foundation. <coughs> Excuse me. Jocelyn has been happily married to PDG Mike for 41 years. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> we have fun. You think Doug is weird? Wait till you meet Mike. <laughs> Their life is life together has taken them to many wonderful places worldwide. She's a proud mom to their sons, Ted and Rick. The Chapmans enjoy being grandparents to Wyatt, four, Grace, one, Elizabeth, just born March 1st, and baby due in June 2022. In her spare time, Jocelyn loves to sail, travel, read, and cook. Well, all of us, please give a warm welcome to our District Governor, Jocelyn Chapman. Yay. <laughs> Yay. All Yay. yours, Jocelyn. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it, it's the spare time part that I haven't quite gotten the hang of. Um, first, good evening and thank you for having me tonight. You know, it, an introduction, particularly a rotary introduction is really a way of telling you how much I really love rotary, the experience I have in rotary and the passion that I have to serve. Uh, my father's rotary pin is in my jewelry box. And because I attended a Rotary Club meeting, Mike, my husband, can see without wearing glasses. It was at a Rotary Club meeting where an ophthalmologist gave a very detailed description of the surgical procedures that he does. Um, and yes, it was a lunch meeting. <laughs> 
but it was after that meeting that Mike was able to have his vision corrected after five surgeries to what the doctor calls 20 happy. So he went from 2400 to 20 happy after those surgeries because I attended a Rotary Club meeting. That's our Rotary moment. Whenever I travel, I always wear my Rotary pin, even if I'm in shorts and a t-shirt going into Publix, because inevitably people will ask, what's that round pin you're wearing? And I respond, well, it's a Rotary International pin. And I wear it because I like to tell people we're a membership organization that does service because that's what we do. I've attended many districts conferences and I hope that if, for those of you who are in the area, will visit our district conferences this coming weekend. And I've also attended many international conventions. And it is at this time that I would like to introduce Orby. Oh, come on, Orby, behave. There, Orby. Um, our Rotary International Convention this year is in Houston. I think he needs to switch shoulders. Here, that helps. So um, past Rotary International Director, John Smarge, is the chairperson for the Rotary International Convention in Houston this summer. And two years ago, I promised John that I would talk about our Rotary International Convention in Houston and introduce Orby. Orby has been quite a wonderful traveling companion. And he, he doesn't make a big mess. He's kind of fun to be around. He's quiet, you know, so it, it works. Um, but Orby, if you can see, and I'll put him up a little closer to the camera, is dressed like an astronaut. And that is because he's ready to launch for Houston. I think it works better in person, particularly when I don't have a time delay on my video. For those who are just joining, I do apologize. Welcome to computers. So past Rotary International Director John Smarge and I have chuckled about Orby and um, getting many to attend the Rotary International Convention. I hope all of you are joining us in Houston. For some of you who are close, it's so easy to get to. Um, those of you who are a little farther away, it's still worth the trip. You know, as Rotarians, we all have different ways of doing things and different thought processes some of us are very analytical, but the bottom line is we all have a common bond. And that common bond is service. We help those whom we may never meet. And we feed those who are hungry. We work to make the difference in one person's life every day because we can. And sometimes it's as easy as a smile. Sometimes it can be something simple. If you see someone is having, you can tell by a face, if they're having a tough day, just thank them for being there or smile and say, I hope you have a great day because those are the people we may never know that our actions have impacted. That's what being a Rotarian is all about. Now, one of the other things that I did before all of my club visits is that I do some research on the clubs because it's fun. And who wants to hear about me? Y'all have been doing great things. So I want to talk to you about what you're doing makes sense to me. So first, Alicia, um, 
there is one little conundrum that y'all are having. Alicia is your current president, your immediate past president, and your president-elect. Um, I, I, I think you might want to start thinking about, you know, deepening the bench, okay? Just, I'm just saying, just saying. Um, but thank you, Alicia, for your service. Yes, thank you. E-Club was chartered on January 27th, 2005. And just like we as Rotarians work with our calendars and things to do lists and what would we do without all of that, Rotary has Rotary Club Central. It's, it's where we track things. And, you know, it's really interesting to see how the different clubs utilize their things to do list in Rotary Club Central. And, and the E-Club has been doing tremendous things in, in just a recent year. And, you know, COVID has kind of skewed these numbers. So I look more toward an average, but you have, and you can't see that I'm looking at my notes, but I am. Um, you've contributed in excess of $5,000 in cash and over $8,000 in goods and services in service projects with many volunteers and over 795 volunteer hours. That's amazing, y'all. Thank you. The Rotary Foundation, very near and dear to my heart. I love it. See, now you can see my little note card. Um, in the history of your club, you have donated a total of $69,764 to our Rotary Foundation. Thank you. You have currently, I, I think, Alicia, you're sandbagging on some of your numbers in Rotary Club Central because you set a goal of $2,000 for annual fund and you all have already contributed $5,470. Who would sandbag? I can't imagine. <laughs> oh, and there's that little sandbag thing again. You set a goal of $100 for Polio Plus and you all have contributed $736 to Polio Plus year to date. That's just, as of my research, that might not be up to the moment. But you also have 20, oh, I have to read my own writing, 25 Paul Harris Fellows and 26 of your current 30 members are donors to our annual fund. Thank you. You know, supporting our Rotary Foundation is so very important to the fundamentals of who we are as Rotarians. And with as many PDGs in this group as there are, I'm preaching at the choir. So let's talk about some of the other things. This year has been a healing year. We all are working at coming back. COVID kind of threw everybody for a loop. Now, y'all were doing electronic meetings beforehand. God bless you. There are, were so many clubs that had no idea how to run a meeting electronically. And I want to thank Alicia for stepping up early in that system and program and process to help others who didn't understand how this could all work and indeed shared the, the concept and the how. And I thank you. Thank you very much. As we were starting this year, knowing that we were going to be focusing on healing and my desire to have everyone focus on fellowship, service, and fun. If we could do those things, I knew that we could come back and by doing more, we would grow more. And that's exactly what you've done. You have adopted literacy across the seas. 
it, it is an amazing process that all of you participate in. And it doesn't matter where you live, you support literacy. And you know, when we teach a child to read and do basic math, we can help pull them out of poverty. So literacy is huge in helping our world. You contributed to the YMCA books for kids, for kindergartners through third graders. Winning in the game, the spirituality for kids. And in that process, it was my understanding that it was how to read and how to make time for them to focus on bettering themselves and having the strength within to do that. You have Best Buddies, which is really cool. You socialize with them and you talk about um, economy and what's going on in the world. And, you know, when, when someone is disabled, to have a buddy that they can work with to help with the physical um, aspects of life and, and the social aspects of life. I congratulate you all for reaching out wherever it is that you are currently living. The project that I found really interesting was the Solar for Farmers, the, the community of farmers in St. Thomas, where you could, I think it was the Gladys Douglas Preserve, and there's somebody else. Hey, Robin. Um, but working on solar so that they could have electricity and pumps so that they could help water their farms. Um, and last but not least, the Captains for Clean Water within Lake Okeechobee. Um, those are just some of the things that I was able to see um, that you've been working on throughout the year. And I congratulate you. You have a great catalyst of members. Um, you are growing and I appreciate that. And I appreciate the fact that you adapt and adjust. The next, hey Robin, how are you? Long time. Apologies. No worries. You can catch the video later. <laughs> um, really, what's up next is the district conference is this weekend um, on April 8th. For those of you who, are, who live in Florida, April 8th will be up in Citrus County in Inverness. Um, April 9th will be in Pasco County at the Rotary Pavilion. And on April 10th, we'll be in Largo at Eagle Lake Park. Pretty much what we're doing this year is, you know, for those who know me, it shouldn't be a surprise that I thought of something different, um, but we're taking Rotary on the road. And actually, I even have one of my little flyers right here that will be handed out over the weekend. Um, we're taking the Rotary Conference to the Rotarians in their backyards. And we're, we're trying something new. Um, when I planned it initially, when the seed was planted, um, I had no idea we were gonna be facing COVID and yet we chose and selected outdoor venues with huge pavilions in case of inclement weather. We are after all in April. Um, but I think the biggest part is that we are focusing on not just having Rotarians attend, but non-Rotarians and having families and community leaders join us so that we can show them what we do in Rotary. So there's gonna be um, some static displays on Polio Plus, on CART, on the global grants that we're participating in and the global scholars that we are working with. We're also talking about some of the district grants that we have in place. 
We'll also have some other highlighted events. We're going to have our um, our Rotary International President's Rep is PDG Alex Wilkins from North Carolina. So he and Janice will arrive on Thursday. He's a hoot. He's an RPIC up there. And um, we're, we have a, a small group discussion on human trafficking. We also have uh, Roslyn um, Franken, who is a, an author um, who talks about her survival. And so those are some of the, the points. We also are gonna have some food, we have some music, we have um, the magician coming to entertain the children and, oh, I mean, annoy the adults, whatever. Um, and we're gonna have fun and games. There's cornhole toss and connect four and giant Django. And it's going to truly be fun and fellowship and service. So what we're asking is that everybody who joins us bring three pounds of canned protein. We are gonna have food banks on staff on hand collecting the pounds of protein because food banks inevitably run out of protein. And a child can't learn if they're hungry. And so feeding the hungry and helping them learn go together with what the focus has been this year on fellowship, service, and fun. So that's our district conference. I hope that you'll be able to join us. Um, I've never been to a district conference that only costs $25 per Rotarian that we're gonna to use to help defray some of the costs, but um, it's gonna be a great event. I'm very, very excited about it. Then we have our district awards banquet on Friday, June 3rd in Tampa at the, um, city center, which is, or center city, um, up on the Bayview Ballroom. And it is in the same building where there is a Marriott Portfolio Resort um, Hotel. We've acquired rooms for $139 a night. And we will be having our um, awards dinner up there, cocktails six to seven, and um, then dinner and awards begin at, at seven. And then people say, well, why in the world are you going to Tampa if you're in Citrus, Fernando, and Pine uh, Pasco and Pinellas County? Well, that's because Orby asked to not have a very long commute to Tampa International Airport because on Saturday, the 4th of June, we're all flying out to the International Convention in Houston. I hope you'll join us. Thank you so much for having me tonight. Does anybody have any questions? That's excellent. <clears throat> Governor, Governor, hi, it's Andrea. Thank you so much um, for um, uh, being with us tonight. And uh, I just want to say also that uh, I want to give a lot of uh, credit and shout out to our president and past district governor, Will. Um, you know, when I was uh, president a couple of years ago, we really made a big initiative to start working on the presidential um, um, citation. And we've been doing a crackerjack job the last couple of years of achieving that. And uh, I've been with several clubs, including my wonderful um, uh, mentors, um, um, from 6990. So, um, and it's always the governor's dream for all our clubs or his clubs to get those citations. So I'm really excited just to, as a past president and I wrote it for many years to see our wonderful fledgling e-club, um, you know, going against on-ground clubs in, mm -hmm. in all the districts and Florida and so forth, getting those awards. So, and hopefully we'll get it this year. We'll find out, I suppose, at the awards, but uh, it's really, really exciting. So I want to give a big shout out for, uh, you know, our wonderful, um, my peers and our board 
doing a great, great job because we're a small club. Um, my question is, um, I know it's on all of our hearts. Um, what more are we doing for Ukraine? I know I see um, a lot of things coming out or whatever. Now that I just saw the absolute genocide in, in Bushka, I think it was, and whatever, and my heart goes out to all the Ukrainians. I think I have some um, background uh, looking at my family history coming from um, uh, Ukraine um, um, way out there. So um, can you give us just a little bit update what um, Rotary and, and the district are doing for Ukraine? Because I know with everything, with children and water and polio, everything in the background, uh, um, this has just been, I think, uh, you know, and I'm a bit older, one of the biggest disasters, it, probably the biggest in my lifetime. And I've lived through, you know, um, Vietnam and everything like that. But my heart goes out every day. I know Rotary is there, but maybe you can give us a little bit of an update, Governor. Well, I, I will share with you this. I was with um, past Rotary International President John Germ at PETS as everything had erupted in Ukraine. And um, when Rotary International came out with the disaster recovery grants, um, any Rotary club within Ukraine has been able to apply for a $50,000 immediate disaster relief grant. And the Rotary clubs in the surrounding areas are able to apply for the um, $25,000 grants. The monies that we are all collecting and sending up either individually to the disaster relief um, process or to Rotary International um, are going to help there. We are getting regular updates from um, Rotarians in the Ukraine about their ongoing needs because they change so quickly and so frequently and and locations change as well so what we have been advised through updates excuse me is just that that we are working in every area in which we can um, the the biggest things are of course shelter and clean water because we don't want folks getting sick um, and helping find homes. I understand that just recently there were um, several hundred Ukrainians who were repatriated to the Clearwater area. So be on standby. There will likely be um, more information coming from Rotary International as I get it. Um, I will send it out to everyone, um, but they are working very diligently to help. Um, as many of you know, our very own John Hugo is from Kiev. So um, it, it runs long and deep in Rotary's heart. Thank you, Governor. Uh -huh. Any other questions, comments? Of course, no criticisms. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Like the audio and the video don't go together, which yeah, well, is watching very difficult. <laughs> uh, Alicia, I, I just uh, one comment for the governor. I think it's uh, uh, very creative for you to have the uh, conference in three different areas, like you uh, like you've planned and. I follow this as you're planning it in each area. I know it's a little different depending on, you know, what the area is like. So that's a lot of work. And uh, so I do commend you for trying to take the conference to the Rotarians, which is, I think, a very unique concept. Thank so you. hopefully it's very successful. So from your lips to God's ears. <laughs> there you go. Very creative. At this point, as of yesterday afternoon, we had 247 registrations. Um, and, you know, for a district conference in, in 6950, I cannot remember having that many people register. Um, and, and I think the best part is over 50% of those are non-Rotarians. 
families, friends, uh, community leaders who have all registered on Eventbrite um, and have agreed to bring three pounds of canned protein. Um, I, I think it's a cute hook. It wasn't my idea, but I'm using it because <laughs> we're a team. Well, you can't beat the registration fee either. No. <laughs> All right. Well, great. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Jocelyn. Nice seeing you. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you this weekend. So yeah, Will and I will be there. And I know we've got another club member that lives in St. Pete that will be there. So she's coming up. So she couldn't make it to the to the meeting this evening, but um oh, we've got Mr. Vernon is is coming on a little late, but We can say hi. <laughs> For those um, who don't know, uh, Vernon Bryant is our area two uh, assistant governor. Yes. Good evening, Vern. You're muted. Still yes, there. good evening, good evening. <laughs> Deb Maiman took care of the introduction and we even had some of the, the um, little call outs as, as you well know. Vern has been quite a team player during our club visits. So he's a, a great help in organizing our different areas. Thank you all so much. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, we actually, uh, I got to meet Vernon, which is kind of, you know, rare to meet, meet at AG for our club in person. Uh, he's in the uh, Rotary Club at Indian Rocks and they had their pancake breakfast uh, just a short while back. And so we got to meet him. So it was great. Nice guy. All right. Indeed he is. Any, anything else, any other comments? All right. Well, very cool. Well, thanks again, Jocelyn. Great to see you. Um, we will, um, oh, fairly early. We're 7.36. So um, that's basically our meeting. Uh, we are going to just go ahead and go into our board of directors meeting. And um, of course, it's open to, to all club members. Um, and guests, of course, Jocelyn and, and um, Vernon, if you'd like to, to join in, that's, that's fine. Um, I think at this point, if you're going into your board meeting, I will say good night. And, you know, please remember that I, I try and gear my presentation to a regular 20 minute program. So um, I think we even went a little longer than that. But thank you so much for having me. It's been a great evening. I appreciate everything that all of you are doing. Keep up your hard work. Keep supporting literacy. We will make a difference in our world. And we are doing it one person at a time. Thank you, Governor. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, Governor Chapman. Great thank job. You. Thank you, Will. Good Thank night. you. Thank you. Have a great evening. You too. Bye. 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 Glad I got a chance to at least stop in and say hi. I'll see you guys <laughs> later. Okay, Vernon. Good to see you, Vernon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. And that's, that's okay, well, we let her go without doing the four-way test of all the things that we experience, things say and do. We'll finish our meeting with that. Uh, is it the crew? Crew? Is there a concern? Good will and better fellowship. Beneficial to all concern. It's such harmony. <laughs> and is it fun? Is it fun? Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Well, we get all caught. right. Most important. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Thanks, Debbie. You're very welcome. Night, Debbie. Night, Doug.
Good night.